So she broke off their engagement like five years ago, but um, still waiting to see if he was the one that, uh, or if she was the one that he still thinks about. And we reached out to him and they were going to link up. You guys remember this? Yep. Blaine and Mark. They were sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, five years ago. They were together for two years, and he proposed because he's awesome. And she said, yes, because he's awesome. She said they were, quote, crazy in love. And then her parents, after 30 years of marriage, started going through divorce, so it started getting in her head. So she got all weirded out, like six months into her engagement, started freaking out and getting cold feet because she was unsure about marriage, unsure about love and life and all those things. And he was like... A little miffed about this, but cool. And they tried for a few months, just couldn't hack it. So they called off the engagement. They broke up. That was five years ago. Blaine has not stopped thinking about him. She thinks he's the one. And especially around the holiday season, because they broke up around Christmas, she always thinks of him. So she called the Burt Show and was like, can you help me? I want to find him. I heard that recently he was in a relationship, but broke up this past summer. So I would like to know if that's true. So we sent the hottest member of the Burt Show to start texting and flirting with him, Tommy Owen. <laughs> Tommy started texting back and forth with Mark and creeped him out a little bit at first because he's like, what radio show? What's happening? But we got to the point. We said, she, Blaine still thinks about you around this time of year. She never fully closed that chapter of her life. And he was really understanding. He's like, that was a traumatic time for her. I totally get it. Um, it wasn't just a breakup. Her parents divorced, all that stuff. So Mark remembers. And then Tommy was like, okay, so this is, are you into like communicating with her? And he's like, yes. I need to do the rest of this with her. I need to stop speaking to you. I'll text her. We'll go out. You won't be there, right? And Tommy was like, no, I won't. And that was where they left it. Did this happen last week? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have absolutely no recollection. Okay, you you're out? looking at me. Was I out that day? <laughs> you might have been out that day. Thank God. The way you're <laughs> looking at me, I was like, am I wrong? I'm like, this really, I, I, I really was like, oh my God. Yeah. I caught the dementia. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally got me. Hey, you don't catch it. I talked to my mom on the phone and I must have got it through the phone. Okay. I don't recall any of this. All okay. right. So. I can tell by your face. Yeah. I was starting to sweat. I was like, I wish somebody needs to put sunglasses on him or something because it's really throwing me off. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at the schedule. I'm having like, oh my God, like what? Did, when did this happen? Okay. So we got an update today. <laughs> we do. All right. Hey, Bird Show. It went so good. So, so, so good. I was so nervous to contact him because he seemed a bit unexcited in his response to you, but he couldn't have been more different with me. I think he was just confused and weirded out by you contacting him. <laughs> he was a bit <laughs> skeptical. However, when I called him, he sounded so different. He said he was relieved that it was actually that it actually was a way for me to contact him and not just a weird scam by someone claiming to be with a radio show. <laughs> Anyhow, we went out on Thursday night and again last night, Saturday Ooh. night. Both nights were fantastic. The only part I'm not thrilled about is that he was out with someone else on Friday night, but I know I can't be upset about it. Of course, he was likely to be dating someone else and that doesn't stop because his ex fiance shows up out of the blue. He didn't tell me much about her, but I do get the sense that they just started dating, so I don't think it's anything serious. I didn't ask anything about her or their Friday night date when I saw him on Saturday, and he also didn't bring her up. I'm nervous that the reason I didn't hear from him at all today, Sunday, was because he was with her. Oh, jeez. Oh, so no. this is a weird situation. No, it's not. You're making it weird. It is, <laughs> it is you. I don't know where my expectations should be. Obviously, lower. I want <laughs> much lower. <laughs> Obviously, I want another chance with him, and I think that it's a possibility because we did kiss on Saturday. However, I also don't like restarting things while he's seeing other people. I know if this was a brand new relationship, I'd seem crazy to assume or expect him to be exclusive with me just after being out twice. However, this feels kind of different to me. So what should the expectation be? Should I treat this like we're starting from ground zero? Or is it reasonable to expect him that we are starting out a bit further down the relationship road and therefore he shouldn't be seeing someone else while seeing me? He wants to. She wants to pick up where they left off. She's like, we have been together five years. <laughs> Who's this hussy you were out with on Friday? Is it impossible to just see where it goes? Yeah. Like not it, think about it and just kind of see where it goes? <laughs> just relax a little bit. I, I believe we were all on the same page here. <laughs> yeah. mm -hmm. Whether you like to admit it or not, you are starting at ground zero. Yeah. You called mm -hmm. off your engagement. You have not spoken in five years. This is the first time you all have laid eyes on each other and spoken in five years. You can't demand he not see anybody else while he's seeing you. Mm -mm. I, I mean, you can, but <laughs> it ain't going to go Good well luck. for you. <laughs> I don't know if this puts her at an advantage or a disadvantage if you're like, quote unquote, competing with another woman. Although they're not competing. I mean, she just came back in the picture. 
I'd say advantage, actually, because if he was that in deep with the with the woman that he's seeing, he wouldn't even have yeah. allowed this date to happen. So Excellent you, point. You, you got the date. You in there. Just take it one step at a time. You're good. So look at it like it's a brand new relationship. Don't rely on the other stuff and just go through it. Just don't think about it. 100%. Is that where we're at? Yep. Yes. Okay. The Bird Show. <laughs>